of Landmark Television ends today with the final TV episode of a beloved daytime classic. So join an audience of devoted fans for a special edition where The View salutes all my children. Special guest co-host Susan Lucci showing you her favorite moments from four decades as Princess of Pine Valley and giving you a sneak preview of AMC's final episode on television later today. And your favorite All My Children cast members are looking back at the sex, scandal, hookups, breakups, loves, and losses that made AMC one of a kind. And they're getting one more soap opera surprise right here. Then, we're making daytime history with the reunion fans have been waiting years for. Jenny and Greg are having one more rendezvous on The View. And looking back at the unforgettable love story that became a pop culture phenomenon. And we're taking you behind the scenes of the emotional taping of All My Children's final TV episode that's airing later today. All that and more, coming up on The View. edition of The View, yeah, I said that. And it salutes, <laughs> wait for it, all my children. <laughs> and our special guest co-host is one fantastic woman, but you already know that. Yes. But to us, she's La Luch. Yes. <laughs> Please welcome our buddy, Susan Lucci. Yes. Audience, all these people sitting here today are devoted, yes. Yes. deeply yes. devoted, all my children fans. So, Susan, Susan, I mean, this has been your journey, let's say, uh, 41 years. <laughs> and what's it like, sort of, to even to be back and, and to be with us again? Yeah. Well, first of all, thank you so, so much for doing this special tribute. I, I know, only just beginning. Aww. I mean, this is incredible. Aww. Thank you so, oh, so what much. Works early yeah, it's, in the it's show. a celebration of a yeah, wonderful show, but I thank you all so much for doing this special tribute to all my children. And this is the building where we shot all my children most of those 41 That's years. Right. And uh, the emotions, it's an emotional time, very happy time, so much to be grateful for. But coming back here today yes. was very touching to me, and I'm so thrilled to be here and so thrilled to see all of you here. Thank you well, very you know much what? for being in the audience. Keep the tears. We just want to. We just want to celebrate you. But I mean, there was a woman here holding up, a, you know, a, a doll of you. You have. You. We have seen you. you. Yes. This, hold up that doll, Mama. Hold it up. Look at that doll. You know, and this is the thing, Susan. Over the years, over the years, we have seen you in so many fashions, and you are such a fashion icon. How, how, you know, you, you, and I remember watching this back in Chicago, and you would wear so many wonderful things. How have you, you know, influenced fashion, Erica Kane? Oh, well, I, it's Look been so much fun. Very I mean, casual. again, this is, you know, Agnes Nixon's writing that took us out of the studio. All my children, I believe, was the first to go on location. And for yes. me, even if it was in our own city that we were working in, the Metropolitan Museum 
and Lincoln right. Center and all those clothes. I'm 5'2 on a good day. <laughs> you know, so to get to play a, a high fashion model was very exciting. And it introduced this whole world of glamour right. to uh, daytime television mm -hmm. as well, which was very, very fun to be part of. And something very funny, I know one of your favorite scenes, I think, was the food fight with Adam Chandler that you had. Oh Can we just discuss? Because yes. I, don't, I don't know Look what went into something like that. Well, Erica was expecting Jack, and Jack didn't show up. So <laughs> poor Adam took the brunt of that. But what a thrill to work with David Canary, no matter what the scene. That I have to yeah. set, take that. It's a 13 page scene. The crew stayed in at lunchtime. Nobody moved. We kept running this scene and running this scene because it was 13 pages. And after squeezing the grapes on Adam, we knew we had to get this in one take. Yes. You know? So Good. it was highly choreographed by B.H. Barry, the yes. great Broadway. Uh, uh, coordinator of, of fights. That's a good and, uh, That's yeah, fun. so we just yeah. rehearsed and rehearsed. Right. We did it at 9.30 at night. We did it in one take. Wow. Yes. That was good. Now, I need to let you all know that you are all going home with Susan's memoir. That's right. That's right. And we will be right back. We know what you want. I heard that all my children was uh, going off the air, you know, after the shock of it wore off. I, uh, I called Judy Bly Wilson, the casting director who originally casted me on the show, uh, to see if I could come on the show, at least for, you know, one of the last episodes. I mean, this is the place that gave me my opportunity, my first opportunity, and for that, I'm, I'm always gonna be grateful. <laughs> my noontime thing. Now, I TiVo it. Oh. Yeah, so every night, like around 6 o'clock, if I want to pour myself a glass of wine, I'll sit and, and be uh, brought up on what Pine Valley's up to. You know, it takes some incredibly creative minds to entertain, surprise, and delight audiences for four decades of daytime television. And we are thrilled and happy to welcome two of those minds right now. Please welcome All My Children creator Agnes Nixon and executive producer Julie Carruthers. Now. <laughs> you, uh, Agnes, uh, did you ever <coughs> have any inclination that All My Children was going to become the phenomena that it, came, it became and stay on for 41 years? Heavens, no. <laughs> I mean, when the show was 24 years old, it be, around that time, people were doing their dissertations on soap opera, and one woman came to see me and said, she was writing her dissertation, and she said, how long did it take you to write a 24-year long-term story? <laughs> I said, honey, we were just hoping we'd get renewed after 26 right. weeks. Right. <laughs> right. Well, Agnes, when, uh, when, when, Susan, when Susan auditioned for you, you knew, right, Susan, when she auditioned yes. for you, I read that you knew right away that she was right and she was special. Oh. So what was it about Susan that screamed Erica Kane to you? Well, of course, she was gorgeous, yes. as she still yes. is. Yes. But the audition, was that when you were putting on the mascara? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, you see, 
I wanted someone who was feisty and didn't pay any attention to her mother, <laughs> as I had had to do growing up all my life, be a very good daughter. So instead of studying, she was putting mascara on. <laughs> and Mona said, don't you think you should be studying? No. He's a cute, he's a and I knew that there she was. <laughs> I'll throw this one to you. You've had a career in daytime spanning over 25 years, the executive producer of All My Children for eight. And despite uh, budget restrictions, you have been able to create really heartwarming stories, and everyone appreciates that. Do you have one in mind that just is special to you more than any other? I think one of the stories I'm the most proud of, um, and there are quite a few, but one that stands out is the story on camera of Brock Monroe and off camera of J.R. Martinez. Yeah. Um, it was an, an amazing journey for everybody that was involved. Yes. We had over 600 injured veterans submit themselves for the job. Mm. Um, none actors, and they came and auditioned. We met with them, and JR's strength, courage, determination, and that infectious smile of his ultimately got him the part. Yeah. Always breaking down barriers. We <laughs> love it. So we thank you, Agnes Nixon and Julie Carruthers. When we come back, Pine Valley's most popular residents. And later on, we're making daytime history when Jenny and Greg <laughs> are reunited on our stage. We'll be right back. I've got a whole lifetime of memories here. And a whole lifetime of um, beloved characters that worked here that had such an impact on my life. I don't know how to begin to say goodbye to it. I don't know that there's a way to ever say goodbye to Pine Valley. love triangle and the other one loves to make trouble as Pine Valley's resident evil doctor. Please join me in welcoming Cameron Matheson, Rebecca Buttig, Alicia Minshew, and Christopher Hi. from our show yeah. over here, too. start with Rebecca and Cameron, if you don't yes. mind. Ryan and Greenlee, on again, off again, the love story. Go through some of your favorite moments with us. Wow, so many. So many. How much time do we have? I know. <laughs> you better um, get cooking. You know. Well, I, I would say my favorite moments um, were off camera, laughing our butts off yes. every day. Aww. Like, I could be in the worst mood ever, and I see Cameron, and it makes me smile. Aww. No, it's true. I mean, I've, I've known Rebecca, my on-screen wife, longer than my real-life wife, so it's a little awkward sometimes, you know what I mean? Uh, but it's true, you know, we, we just have so many great memories, both off-camera yes. and then on. When I, I left the show for a little bit and I came back and I got to work with, with these two right here, and some, some just some great, great times. I mean, so many. Of course, of course, my love affair with Erica Kane was some bad. Memory. Not trying to make things awkward here. Yeah, yeah. 
obviously the friendship. Lucia, I, I did, when you mentioned the crew, you came in today and I saw you just reunite with some of them and it was so heartwarming. It really was. I it was awesome. I was so happy to see them. It was like I saw them yesterday. And I was like, hey, you guys. And, you know, I mean, uh, Eric, I mean, uh, Thunderbolt backstage. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. so nice to see these people. They're like family. family to us. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. Of course. And you and Rebecca obviously have a great friendship now, right? But the cat fights, let's discuss. <laughs> Because the cat fights that the two of you had on screen I, I had to be a lot of fun. It was, honestly, that's what started our friendship. We had a cat fight with, with us in a bridal <laughs> gown, I think. <laughs> yes. And, and yeah, it was one of Susan's. Gown. No, no. 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 Susan's made their own wedding. Yeah, we had our own gown. You and I had a knockdown drag out, and we, we it was in the rain, and they oh, had the, yes. and there were slippery yes. cars, and then yes. slippery rain, and we didn't rehearse with the rain because you you know we'd be all wet. Yeah. So when we went to taping, they had rain come on mm -hmm. us, the slippery cars, and we both had put body lotion on. We had no idea how slippery we would be to each other. Yes, trying we were to we could hardly <laughs> keep a hold, keep a hold of ourselves. It was really a great day. Yeah. No, but Cameron, I know yes. you joined All My Children in 1998, and you have been such an important, fabulous. Oh. Presence on, on all my children. All around, and and I know that you feel that all my children has opened some doors for you too. I know you do such a great job as, as a, a member of the team on Good Morning America. Oh, yeah, and, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it has. It, it's 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 you know launched a lot of careers. It's it's definitely without a doubt created so many opportunities for me in my life, and then as well, you know, I met my wife, and and we had our kids while I was on all my children. So both professionally and 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 personally, it's just been yes. it's like my heart. Like all my children is is literally mm -hmm. part of my heart. It's, uh, which is, you know, why I was so quick to, to sign on to the online. I love you yeah. guys. You know, is, you're always a bad guy, right? But, you know, when you confessed and told about your character's father's suicide, we right. saw this, like, vulnerable side of you that we hadn't really seen before. And we have a clip That's of right. that. Take a look. Oh, wow. My father, he put the gun to his head. My mother stood there motionless. And he cocked the trigger. And then my mother, at the last second, her expression changed from one of cold derision to fear. And she started to shout out, Charles, no, but then it was too late. about those scenes were that they were, it was actually a defining moment for my character because before that the audience didn't know why I was the way that I was exactly. Yeah. and exactly. Erica had me trapped in a basement for like a week <laughs> with my hand in a vice okay and here I am a, a cardiac surgeon so that's a big deal all right no little thing that your hand is in a vice and I finally she broke me down and and I spoke about my father's suicide and and mm -hmm. people got to understand why he is this type of person um, and I, I've loved playing this character for these 14 years it's yeah. been an amazing journey we, frankly you know, the entire time we so lo we, we love yeah, that's right. so like Cameron just said you play Cameron just, just said you play what you know you know, we, we, we love each and every one of your characters. Alicia, I know that you have some of your fondest memories with Torsten Kay, who plays your husband, Zach. Can you tell us, what do you love, what, what did you love about working with Torsten? Okay, well, there's, there's, there's so many things, but I, I think, um, aside from the fact that he's such a great actor, he's really funny yeah. and very witty and pretty much had me laughing every day that I worked mm. with him. Oh. Every day. Well, we And, love. you know, to, to, to go to work and laugh like that, aside from laughing with all these people, you know, yeah. love yeah. scenes, crying scenes, whatever, we're laughing. It's laughing. And it all just right. helps lighten the mood and it helps you get you through your day. So he's... Sure. 
He's a funny guy. Well, we have a surprise for everybody Ooh. because Torsten is here! Yeah. Let's give him a big round Torsten Torsten Gay. This is Whoopi, by the way. I don't know if you guys. Hey, hey, Torsten. I know that there was someone really special that you wanted to acknowledge today. Do you want to take that time now? Yeah. Well, you know, everyone's talking about other people, and I should talk about my spiritual leader wife here. But um, Eileen Hurley. Yeah. Uh, right. Yeah. What a what a cool lady, right? Ah, there she is. And you know, everyone said, hey, she worked with Laurence Olivier, and she'd worked with Gielgud and Richard Burton. And they said, you know, she's great because of that. And I think maybe those boys were great because they had her. We yeah. have more coming, so don't you worry. It just gets better and better and better. We come back. Makes it official. Oh, Greg. Um, will you marry me? Yes. Yes, I will marry you. <laughs> oh, Jenny. <laughs> oh. Mm. for me and for every All My Children fan. One of the greatest love stories ever on daytime TV was the relationship of Jenny and Greg. <laughs> and they are about to reunite right here. But first, let's just take a look back at how it all began. Did you see how different we are? Your, your family, your house, everything. It's, it's like I said before. We may not come from the same backgrounds, but we share important things. I knew right from the beginning that you were special. I've never felt this way about any other girl before. Please welcome Kim Delaney and Lawrence Law. fell in love with you guys as you were falling in love. Like, what do you, in your mind, like, what's the reason behind that? Because it feels so Agnes real Nixon. to see that clip. Agnes, Agnes Nixon. Nixon. <laughs> yes. Agnes. Yeah, there you are. Hi. But it was wild yeah. for you, right? Like, I mean, you, you couldn't really even go out together, could you? I mean, people oh, were we just. You did? Yeah, sure. How, How did what, people react when they saw you together? You know, the fans to this day have been amazing. Thank you, guys. Um, amazing. <laughs> Even in airports now, they, they just love the characters. They, really they still call me Jenny. They <laughs> still in airports they still, now. They still call me Greg. I mean, for a while there, I had to wear a you know baseball cap and sunglasses wherever I went because it was nutty. I mean, you know, getting chased into restaurants and chased into. See, that's the guys. You know, but it's just amazing yeah. that every day that people say, Greg, yeah. where's Jenny? What? <laughs> <laughs> Try to find her. The thing that. <laughs> Kim, you've gone on to do all the stuff. Army Wives, NYPD Blue. She's, yeah. And, um, but you know, I, I, everybody.
Jerry says that doing a soap opera is the hardest thing because you have lines at the last minute. Is it, is it true? Um, see, I came right out of high school and started with Agnes, and it was almost like studying again. Like, yeah. I just went home, studied your script, got uh -huh. ready for the next day, showed up, and that's what we did. So it was just, like, I, I didn't said, really... Yeah. yeah. That was my learning experience. Mm -hmm. And you know, and I know Greg, and you've done mm -hmm. many things too, and guest stars, and you're doing a play right now yes. in um, Virginia. Yes, doing God but... of Carnage and at the Virginia oh, stage. Nice. The Virginia stage. And it's so funny. One of the most shocking moments in, in like TV history it was when you got, it was the jet ski explosion. Oh Do you remember that? And you, it's Jenny so hard was to recover from that kind of thing. <laughs> this was, I, but I remember watching this. It was just like, oh my gosh, because that is when Jenny, your character, was killed. We do have that scene. Let's take a look at oh that scene. Look at that! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Funny, remember? I can't look at it. She can't look at it. I know. She thought I was renegotiating. I was not. I just. <laughs> she, I know it's good if she cries when she writes it and cries when she sees it. I never yeah. stopped crying. But it, I know. I know how hard this. But scene she gave was. me great first job. It was watching it because I, I, I absolutely remember watching that, and it was hard. How hard was it to film it? Oh, no, it was coming to an end. Fun. We had a good time. <laughs> you, had a good time. Wow, you are good at it. We were on location in New Jersey. <laughs> And even harder was the scene where you were in the hospital. Oh, you gosh. were in the hospital and you were dying and Greg was right by your side. So, okay, now we know how it was to film the jet ski explosion. How hard was it to do that scene when you were right by Jenny's side? It was, it was hard. It was very hard. Kind of like it's hard sitting here right now. It's, with, with um, Agnes, yeah. Um, uh -oh. This was, I, I was, I had a, it was a wonderful yeah. story. It was just a wonderful a Romeo smell. and Juliet story that yeah, lasted for three yeah. years. And, and it, and they and developed it so gently and so believably for three something years. Something like Jenny leave. <laughs> And yeah. the fans still remember. I mean, people ask yeah. me about Jenny and Greg. They think, will Jenny and Greg ever come back? <laughs> right. I mean, I yes. I know when it was first announced that it was going off the air, I, I must have, if I had one email, I had 100. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Insane. They said, yeah. end of an era. Yeah. It's, yeah. It was. It was. We really got to live life yeah. through your eyes. Like you said, it was a Romeo and Juliet mm -hmm. story because yeah. you, Jenny, you came from the wrong side of the tracks, and Greg was this rich kid. Remember, because right. Liza kept trying to break you guys <laughs> up. <And> remember <laughs> Liza? Good. She was all in there. <laughs> don't, don't forget Enid. But our fans are amazing. <laughs> when, and when we come back, it even, even more wonderful people coming on, we are going to reunite Jenny and Greg with their two best friends who also have the distinction of being one of the TV's most loved couples, Andy and Jesse. What did you say? Andy, I want you to marry me. Marry you? Yeah, I don't, I, I don't, I, I don't want to wait anymore. You know. But. Uh... Angie, look, you love me, right? And I love you. So come on. Jesse, of course I love you. Daytime history is all my children's Jenny and Greg. And here's a look back at their totally awesome 80s prom with their best pals, Jesse and Angie. Take a look. Yo, Nelson. Nelson, you want to start a fire with them feet if you don't slow down? Don't worry about me, Jess. Let's you. Put out. We put up the fabulous party, Greg. Well, it's just a little something I threw together at the last minute.
love stories in history, Miss. Oh, oh, Agnes, thank you so much. But you guys. On this sofa right and now. I gotta use your names. Yeah. Oh my God! When, when was the last time you guys all saw each other? Oh my God! God. I'm gonna cry. Looking at right. I know it's really it's hard for us. I'm looking at you guys. <laughs> really, truly, th th this prom scene <laughs> was, so was so hysterical. <laughs> <laughs> look, you know, when you look at the clothes <laughs> that they. <laughs> With you four. Oh my the original God. running man. I think of this running man. Yeah. <laughs> We said we could never get work done when when it was the oh four of us. Oh my gosh. Uh, we did good work. We no, did. We, well, we did. We were we always done, getting but. into trouble. Yeah. We were always getting into trouble. And they would get so angry with us, our, our producer, Jackie Babbin, would say, that's it. We're shooting your scenes at the end of the show. And I would say to Darnell, well, we're not really kids. They treated us like we were really 16 years old. <laughs> so. But you were so young. I mean, but that fun was probably what made those relationships so good. real yeah, to was everybody good. else. I think Susan wanted to get out earlier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Last time I saw Kim um, um, was on NYPD Blue. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. I did yeah. an episode yeah. 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 For the two of you, what was it like? Because your relationship was, oh, just so wonderful. But like outside, if you ever went out or hung out, were people just asking a ton of questions, well, assuming was, you were together? It's, it's odd because it, as you went out singularly, yes. it was um, it was one thing. But uh, there was one particular time that Debbie and I we went to the movie, <laughs> and um, there was this rumble that started um, uh, at, at a very low rumble, and then Debbie said, Darnell, run! Oh, you <laughs> said run. Yeah. Oh, well, whatever, whatever the story, we had, we had to run out of the theater yeah. because people had um, when we came out, caught we on heard to the like, characters. Is that Jesse? Oh. Is that Angie? Is that Jesse? I mean, you'd have thought we were like Michael and Janet Jackson. <laughs> and Darnell grabbed my hand. He was like, run, Debbie, run! This is crazy. It was amazing. The fans have been wonderful through the years. I just want to thank you. Thank you. Seeing you guys here and just going on that journey with you uh, as a young girl, watching your story, did you, I mean, teenagers would rush home from school to watch the love story unfold with you too. Did you guys realize how much of an effect you were having on teenagers with your romance? But not only teenagers, but they did, you know, the way it was written was so beautiful. Um, so we did encouraged teenagers at that time. Well, but you also had John McEnroe. I, I can tell you the people I've run into that used to watch the show. Oh my Springsteen. Yeah. Oh my um, God, all the yeah. guys from Wall Street. Yeah. So it's yeah. not just teenagers. It was like were a big yeah, fans major. of the show. Rock stars? Yeah. Rock stars. Yeah. Rock stars. Like, I was most amazed when, the, the, show when the, the New York Giants invited me to their games. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. like, the I mean, I'm telling you, they were fans of our show, the New York Giants. They said, can you let Erica come downstairs? And they said, why? The Yankees are here. They'd like to meet When Regis, when it was Regis and Kathy Lee, and his uh, guest that day was Luther Vandross, yeah. and they were asking so Luther, you know, answer. what did he do during the afternoons? And he said, "I watch all my children. <laughs> Nobody better call me on the phone, ring my door." And Darnell and I, we we, we sort of climbed over the couch behind him, and he like freaked out. <laughs> oh my gosh! Why does that? Jesse, Angie, Jenny, and Greg, we love you so much you. for what you have done for us. of All My Children, and our cameras caught the emotional last moments on the set that day. Wow. Take a look. This isn't a job. 
job for those of us who do it. It's a life choice. It consumes your life and everything you do. So to do it, you have to love it or you can't do it well. And we've been doing it so well. Treasure it, honor it, respect it. It's unique. It doesn't happen every day. To have it once in a lifetime is a treasure. The great and the least. The great and the least. The rich and the poor. The rich and the poor. The weak and the strong. The weak and the strong. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In joy and sorrow. In joy and sorrow. In tragedy and triumph. In tragedy and triumph. You are all my children. You are all my children. in life in Pine Valley. To find out how to get an official All My Children cast photo of your own, check out our website. And to all of you, all you big fans of All My Children, to the cast of All My Children, we will miss you. We will miss you. Everybody, have a great day and take a little time to enjoy the view. Oh.